Hello guys and welcome. Today in the house we have with us Chef Lupino and I'm very excited to speak to him today but even more importantly for my stomach he's promised to cook some delicious food for us at the end of the interview. So stick and stay. All right welcome back and welcome. Chef. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great. Thank you. So thank I you, did do you. a little introduction but yeah. I want you to sort of do it yourself, mm -hmm. your name, mm -hmm. uh, what it is you do, mm -hmm. yeah. tell mm -hmm. us. Okay, hi everybody, my name is Michael, um, aka Chef Lupino, basically I'm a chef, uh, at this point an international chef, I've been opening restaurants, I've been uh, consulting for restaurants, I've been teaching how to cook, how to learn, how to cook, how to self you know um develop yourself as a chef Good. as well yeah so uh how did it all start for you at what point did you know you wanted to become a chef and when did you really start doing it okay uh basically uh in italy um i was 14 years old where you have to be um, from your let's say school you, you need to decide what to do you, you have different type of schools where they will take you to uh you get into uh, and then the internship where you get, you know, basically when I saw that school, I loved it. They have uniforms, they have, you know, they were different. And yeah, and the passion came out. I went to that school, I saw it, and I saw what they do, basically, so yeah. Great. So that was at age 14. 14, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you pretty much started with the sort of um, tutorial, yeah, learning class. Yeah, 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 the learning and classes. And eventually uh, you started cooking. Yes. So at what stage do you think you you started really exploring cooking? Uh, exploring cooking, it was a lot of learning. It was a, very, a lot of learning before because obviously cooking is um, uh, it's a, it's an art, you mm -hmm. know? Before you become an artist, you need to learn. You need to understand. You need to know the techniques. You know, you cannot just go and say, I'm going to dip in, uh, uh, you know, a Picasso or whatever. You have to stay there to learn and, you know, and then, you, and then you get to the point, you become an artist, and then, and then you move on. I think I became a chef. I was 18. I was a sous, a sous chef, and my head chef was drunk one day, and they sacked him. <laughs> yeah? So, Don't drink when you're cooking. Yeah. <laughs> so they sacked him. They sacked him, and we were working in a place called Isola d'Elba. It's an, a small island in Italy. Yeah? And so I was the sous chef, then I became a chef. And again, to be a sous chef, uh, being a black guy, and, and, and it was very, very, it was a big thing. Mm -hmm. you know? So before I became a sous chef, it was a hard work. Before they would give me the, the, the like, to be the head chef. So it wasn't a head chef straight away. It was sous chef and we are trying, you know? Mm -hmm. And then so this guy got sucked and at the end I, I was doing it. So I did it for the first year. That was the first summer, that was like a six months thing. Then I did it for the other six years. So I was 18 years that I really took charge and I started, you know. Yeah. So being an international chef and yeah. having your training in Italy, yeah. um, how different, what is, what is so special about Italian cuisine? Uh, Italian cuisine is taste, is um, the imprint of fine, the imprint of uh, that the clean food. You know, when you are saying, when I talk about uh, simple ingredients, combination, things that, you know, you, it's the palate. Mm -hmm. You know, when we go, we're talking about you know, Italian food, we talk about Italian wines. It's a whole lot of sensation things going on. In order for you to understand what you are doing, you need to make sure that you get through one, two, three, four stages, understand the food, the taste, what you, what you are trying to do. Yeah, and then when you've learned that, you can go out there and say, okay, I can see, okay, Chinese food, uh, Thailand cuisine, twist it, mix it, and oh, what did I do, you know? So that's, first thing is understand where you're trying, to, what you want to start with. Mm -hmm. That's, Italian food for me was the key of, it opened my taste, mm -hmm. and I had people to teach me. Great, and important. you've also sort of relocated from Italy to UK. Yeah. Uh, but what informed that and uh, what is it that you're currently doing in the UK as well? Okay, what formed that was basically I was, I was getting good and, and again in Italy as it, it's quite... 
they will not give you the possibility to do the stuff. Basically, mm -hmm. everybody is trying to do as like you know. I want to learn. I'm hungry. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I, I want to learn. I want to be more. I want to do more. And if you don't give me the chance, I'll move. Okay. That's simple. It's just me. You know. And then, Landy was a place where it's the food culture is big, where you have different kind of food um, restaurants cu uh, culture, different kind of food culture. That's where you can actually understand. Uh, different kind of cuisine, not only Italian. So you can go and study Japanese, you can go and study uh, Cambodian food, you can go and do whatever. And I studied Ghanaian food like, in the UK. In, in the UK. <laughs> I went to work for a Ghanaian restaurant. Mm -hmm. I had a period where I worked for that re uh, Ghanaian restaurant and actually learned some recipes of Ghana food. So I, like, it's, it's something, you know, where you can actually go to a Ghanaian restaurant and learn, or a Thailand restaurant and learn, mm -hmm. as being wherever you come from. Good. And I also know in the world of cooking, uh, yeah. so people take a lot of uh, certification yeah. and rating series. There's the Michelin star, yeah. etc. Have you taken any of these? And uh, okay, uh, in Italy, I had a couple of, let's say, um, spoons. Yeah, a couple of spoons in a couple of restaurants, uh, but in London right now, no. Landing, you know, I've been uh, on the BBC, I've been doing all this sort of stuff, but again, uh, I haven't because it's, it, takes, it, gives, it takes time to, you know, I, you need to be focused in that. I was focused in learning. Great. And with all these years of experiences, yeah. what have been some of your highlights? Uh, I created a brand, um, no, no whole, but I brought that brand in, in made international, let's say. Uh, it took me around and discover other countries, other um, possibilities. It gave me like, a, that was Leto Cafe. Mm -hmm. It's a restaurant in, um, in London where it's from, they, they do dessert, they do um, hot stuff and they do as well salad. So it's a whole, that they have cafes, they have lots of different stuff. Go and check it, it's quite nice. Okay. So one of that is uh, again, going on the BBC, being being be um, choosing uh, to go to the BBC is a good thing. Um, I th I have I have quite a lot. Uh, being the uh, head chef as at that young, uh, 18 years old, mm -hmm. uh, working for Jamie Oliver, um, I have quite a lot. Yeah. Speaking about working with uh, celebrity chefs such yeah. as Jamie, uh, have you had some celebrity clients yourself? Yes, but. I, I used to be a private chef. I cannot really tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's like, no, I cannot really tell. Nice but yeah, I have. I had. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I will share some. I've seen some on his Instagram. Page, <laughs> you will see them. But also having the opportunity to travel around um, and cooking for people with different palates, with different sort of uh, taste and everything. Yeah. Uh, what have been some of your unique experiences in mm -hmm. that, for instance? going to Qatar, mm -hmm. I know you can cook with specific things mm -hmm. and, and all of that. What have been some of your experiences? Uh, okay, when, you, when you're doing stuff like that, is uh, you always going to face challenges, yeah? When like challenges where you don't get products, you don't get ingredients, you need to find a way to get them. You need to, improvise. because improvise, and, and if not even improvise, find a way to get them. Mm -hmm. In like, as an example, when we're in Qatar and in Kuwait uh, specifically, those in, uh, in the Middle East, you don't get the products that you will get in Europe. So you basically have to organize a container and get the product to come there in a uh, weekly basis or two weekly basis or, you know, stuff like that. Okay. So in terms of uh, catering for yeah. events and for people, what is the largest you've done? The number of people you've had? I've done about? thousand. <laughs> and yeah. what, what kind of challenges come with doing such? Uh, uh, it's, no. again, working with people with experience that understand when you tell them something, you don't have to explain too much mm -hmm. um, because, again, having all these things, you, you need to work out and make sure you don't do mistakes. Or if you do mistakes, know how to correct them mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Get, because what we are doing is create an experience for the guest. Mm -hmm. And the guests need to have the experience. If the experience is good, we've done our job. If the experience is bad, we need to make sure that we can at least, you know, fix it in some way where he, they, him, her, she will come back and get the real experience. 
Now let's talk about Ghana. And for a chef that had to learn Ghanaian cuisine in the UK, yeah. uh, what is your experience with Ghanaian food? Okay. Um, as, a, as, as, as a chef who have cooked Ghanaian food outside the UK, it's, it's, it's something else. Why? Because here you get the, the ingredients. Where there you get like the, I don't know, uh, you're going to get the um, dry ingredients or already, you know, here you actually see the ingredients. Here you, mm -hmm. This is, this is where it starts. So, watching about ing all the ingredients, I'm getting crazy, I'm getting mad. <laughs> you know, I'm actually getting mad because, you know, seeing things that I've imagined, though I know how it is, I've, you know, you know, because, you, you know, you know. But then seeing, getting it from the uh, tree, mm -hmm. opening it up, wow, you know, it smelling good. it for the first time, tasting it for the first time when it's really, really fresh, it's something else. Okay. It's totally something else. So I feel like I know nothing about Ghanaian food. So me being here, I need to learn it. Okay. Make sure that I get people who can actually teach me, mm -hmm. you know, and, and then, then I can say, okay, now I know Ghanaian food so I can twist it. Mm -hmm. And what, uh, what are your plans for Ghana? Um, when you, we, you, you, you said earlier on that um, if I got any um, recognition or whatever, yeah? Mm -hmm. Me being as a Ghanaian, I want to come back and make sure that we get that, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, that I was saying to a friend, it would, be, it would be very, very nice for me to come back, create a restaurant, and be on like the best 50 restaurant in the world. Mm -hmm. But that's my aim. But again, I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to make something like that, probably, or whatever, because when I start, I start, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My friend here knows, uh, like, when I start, I start working, I am concentrating, I push, I make sure that I'm, I'm going to get it. I make that much noise that that is going to be achieved. Great. All right, so enough talking. It's now time for the real deal. Mm -hmm. So the chef is going to join me in the kitchen, or rather I'm going to join him in the kitchen <laughs> uh, for him to whip up something for us to yeah, yeah. enjoy today. So stick and stay. Okay, um, guys, today we're going to make as much as we can from one chicken. That means I'm going to make as much as I can with one chicken. My, most recipes, I'm going to show you a chicken roast. I'm going to show you a chicken, how to clean a chicken. I'm going to show you some moves that you can do with, with chicken. So maybe for, rest, uh, for uh, recipes with a chicken.
Alright, so food is ready and I have chef, chef right here with us. So yeah. please let, let us know what are these what, amazing What are the dishes? dishes? Okay, we start from this one. We have uh, half roast chicken, half roast paprika chicken over here. Really nice, doesn't really take that much to do. Stick it in the oven and it's done. Uh, here we have a chicken supreme with white rice and cumin. Uh, avocado and a little bit of salad. This is a spaghetti mushroom, chicken uh, mushroom spaghetti uh, with a little bit of spice in it. And it's creamy, double, cheese, uh, double cream inside and, and that's it, yeah. Fantastic. All right, so there you have it. So it's now time for us to dig in. Uh, if you want to contact him, uh, his details will be on screen. Uh, thanks a lot, Chef. Thank you uh, very much.